Hey guys, it's Vanessa, time to scrapbook ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, welcome to Scrapping It Up. I'm Vanessa and today I'm going to teach you um, how I done my little Easter bag. And I know I didn't have this scheduled. It's one of those impromptu things that I decided I got home from work and I thought, you know what? I'm doing it because Easter is almost going to be here. And I know some of you may have your grandkids this weekend. And you may, I know I've got um, several of you ladies who want to make this with their grandkids. So, that's what we are going to do. <laughs> okay. Whoops. All right, and I'm sorry, it's one of those impromptu things, but I got home from work a little bit early, and I thought, you know what, the house is quiet, nobody else is on the internet, so here we are, here we are, guys. <laughs> okay, so, now some of this, um, I remember how I'd done it, and so you you guys are going to have to be patient with me. I do not have a cutting guide for this, but I will give you the measurements as we go along. Um, I will write the measurements down as we go. And then I will get you guys a cutting guide. Okay? So that's the plan. <laughs> you guys know me. Okay. So I grabbed nine pieces of paper and i got these bags at walmart they're just easter bags okay they're just easter bags i got them at walmart and i showed you um guys um i've done a quick video of it here oh i think it was last week but i'll sh show you oops that's the back of it so it has a little handle it'd be a great little um, project to do with your grandkids, do with your um, kids. They can carry it around. Um, they can take it to grandma and grandpa's and uh, put their pictures in here of them coloring Easter eggs and doing their Easter hunts. And that's the back. So, we have a um, kind of a broken egg-like pocket here. And I'm going to make oval-shaped tags to put in here. Then we have a flip out and a flip out. Then we have a pocket. And I think we can almost get a couple of these tags or maybe a little booklet in here. And then this flips. And we're going to redo the back because I don't like the back. We're going to do another egg shaped um, pocket. Okay, so I may, um, that's the reason why I don't have a cutting guide, because I'm going to kind of rearrange this just a little bit. Okay? Uh, there. Oh, welcome, Tammy. Oh, your, your house is empty, too? My husband's sleeping, and Will's at school, and I got off work early, and I thought, ah, why not? Because time's running out. Easter's, what, next weekend? Crazy. Um, what weight is my paper? I'm just using 65-pound weight from Michael's is all I'm using. And um, it's... Most of the paper I'm using is called Punchy Florals. Okay. So I just picked out some papers to match my bag a little bit better than the papers that I had before. So it's it's pretty wild, but that's okay. That's okay. You know, it, this is a perfect gift for you to do with your daughter and then take it to grandpa and grandma's and um, give it to them for Easter with pictures in it. I mean, how cute. How cute. So I wanted to come on here and show you guys. Okay. I grabbed nine pieces We'll probably need a few more, but I grabbed nine pieces of four different colors, okay? And here's, I'm using my Creative Memories, um, oh, cut around thing, cutting system to make my oval, um, photo maps to go in here, okay? Like I said, it's just a 
like a bag from Walmart. And you will have to bear with me because I thought that I could pretty well remember how I'd done it. So, <laughs> yep, right. <laughs> so bear with me. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to cut my tag off. Okay. Open it up. And like I said, I'll try and write down the measurements as we go. And I will um, put a cut and guide up for you guys, okay? <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Tammy. You're welcome. All right. So I think what I did on the sides, you have your um, gusset here, okay? I think I cut right down that. Cut right down that. Okay, I'm cutting right down that folded line is what I'm doing. Just to the point. And then when you get to the point where your bag, you know, starts coming in, I'm going to cut right along that line that folds in. To the point, okay? On both sides. I'm cutting right along that folded edge that when it, it when the bag is folded in, okay? Just to the edge of it, okay? So when you get done, it, you should have this. Okay. Just like that. See? If it was like that, I cut it apart. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Same thing to the other side. I'm going to cut right down that folded line. Ah. It's harder said than done. Just cut down to that point. And then you're going to go along the other. Ah. Come on trying to keep it to where you guys are seeing what I'm doing. Just down to your corner, okay? Just down to your corner. If I goof this bag up, I don't have another one. <laughs> My Walmart's out of these. My Walmart don't have any more of these. Oh, hi, Geraldine. How are you doing? I mean, I have another bag, but it's a different bag. And I wanted to make a matchbook style one with this one, but I haven't had a chance to do it yet. All right. So now we have this. This is what we have now. I gotta think how I done this. Crapolas. I know I, I, I create a hinge. I know that much. <laughs> So bear, bear with me while I'm trying to think how I done this. Okay, I think if I remember right. Okay, I know it's got to get back to this point. I know, I remember that. Okay. So what I'm doing, I'm just, my bag is like this. And I'm just going to gather it up. And kind of pinch it. Okay. I'm going to get it started. Okay. I'm just kind of pinching it. Now I'm going to bring it over. And I'm going to burnish this. And that will be a little bit hard, but that's okay. I'm pretty sure I cut these little thingy bobbies off of there. Yeah. Don't cut yours yet. Wait and make sure 
Yeah. Wait and make sure, but I'm pretty sure I cut those off. We're, we're making a hinge is what we're going to do. Okay, so now, with that's all folded like this, bring your corners, bring your corners in, okay? Bring your corners in, and we folded it like that and gave it a good burnish. I think, let's see, I taped it first. Yep. So I'm gonna run my, I'm gonna get my score pile tape. And I'm going to run my tape right along this edge, okay? Because these, I'm going to bring these together and put them together, okay? And mine is not straight, okay? You need these to be straight because this is going to be the hinge of your book. And there is a line here. Make that your back of your book, okay? Don't let that line be the front of your book. Because I did that with mine and I didn't like it. So there's a line here. There's a crease. Make that the back of your book. Okay? Now I gotta get mine to where mine is a little bit straighter. See, mine's off. I'm gonna try and make this to where it is even. And I'm just going to re-burnish it. <laughs> glitter. I'm going to have glitter everywhere. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to put my score pile tape. Right along this edge. Okay. You see? Right along that edge. Uh oh, where's my square? Uh oh. Usually I have all my tools right here. Oh, I cleaned up my desk. I hope I didn't. Well, I don't see it. It's probably mixed up in my paper somewhere. That I cleaned up. <laughs> I'm always looking for that square. Oh, hi, Reba. Hi, Bunny. Yep, this is just one of those impromptos. I got off work early and I thought, why not? Because Easter is going to be upon us. Okay. Okay, so now I have my tape there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my tape off. This is the, the middle of the bag, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna hook those together and then we're gonna cut this part, some of this off. We're forming a hinge is what we're doing. Okay. I got my one off a little bit, but that's all right. So now I'm just going to give her a good burnish. So now it's stuck together. Now I'm going to cut half an inch. I better get my other scissors. Oh, seriously? Where is my other pair of scissors? Oh, there they are. You just decided to check Facebook. You knew I was on here, Reva. There you go. You you had that uh, intuition. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to cut like half an inch. And if you need to put your ruler here, draw you a line so you, you know. So I'm just going to put my half inch right on this line and then draw me a half inch line. Because we're, we're creating a hinge is what we're doing. Okay. 
So now I'm going to cut right along here. Now I think I cut those extra flappies off there. Yep, that's what I've done. Because you don't want all you don't want all that bulk there. So I'm just cutting off these little flappies. Okay. And you can use any kind of bag to do this. It doesn't have to be an Easter bag. Just want to be careful cutting these. So you don't cut through your bag. I could see me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I could see me doing it. All right. Now you kind of have, if you'll pull these back, you kind of see a triangle, or it's already, um, you know how we taper our hinges. So first, I'm going to put my score pal tape on first before I cut those. So I'll have end-to-end -end coverage. Oops. Okay. Do that on both sides because we're going to be attaching a um, page to this hinge. So now you've seen kind of where it happened. Here, let me, let me. Oh, my chair deal. So you already have a natural where we taper. Okay. So we're going to cut those. Oh, welcome, Marjo. Glad you could join us. It's one of my impromptu things. So you're just going to trim just to the edge. Just like we normally do in our albums. Okay. Just like that. That one's got a little bit of a bump. I must have. I didn't get it cut off when I was doing. I'm going to lift my tape and see if I can't get that. I don't like that bump. Oh, well, maybe. All right. I got rid of it. So I'm just going to. Put my tape back down. Trim her off. So now we have our hinge. So see, now we have a flippable hinge. And I got my bump down here too. I put my tape back. I don't like that. I don't like that extra... I should have cut just a little bit more off when I was doing it. All right, now we have a page hinge for this. Ooh la la, we have a hinge. I'm going to take this thing off. If you pull, it, pull slow enough, it just comes right off. Don't yank it. Just slowly pull on it. And see, we got extra cardboard here to help protect our 
our album, our edge of our album. Remember, you have a line here. Make sure you put that to back of your album. So, I'm going to put a B for back because I don't, I don't want to use that for my front of my album. I did that last time and I didn't like it. Didn't like it. Okay. So let's do our page. That's going to hook to here. We need one piece of 6x9 and one piece of 6x10. Okay. I'm going to write this all down for you so I can get you a, a little cutting guide. 6x9 and one piece 6x10. We're going to score on the 10 inch side, half an inch on each end. And then the other piece, we do nothing to it. Do nothing. Okay, and this is our page. Okay. So, in my other one, I used two different colors. I used one color for the back, one color for the front. And I think I want to do that again. So, I'm going to use a pink. Nah, yeah, do I want? No, nope, I'm going to use one color. So I'm going to use purple. All right, I said one piece, six by nine. Nope, oh, it's going to have to go this way. Six. By nine, and then the other piece is six by ten. Oops, gotta go this way. Six by ten. Now you're gonna grab your scoreboard. And we're going to score the 6 by 10 piece at half an inch on each end. We're going to apply our score pal tape to each. We're applying our tape to the indented side. I wonder what happened to my little square. get used to using something and you lose it and you're lost guess I should have two of them then I'd lose them both <laughs> I'd lose them both I know I would a uh, welcome Don Donna hi Mary I got the bags at Walmart yes the best album sometimes is simple and fun Yes, what the, they're, they're stinking cute. Yeah, I just got, oops, I just got mine at Walmart. Then I have this one here. And they're just the bags like that. This one, I want to do it in a match matchbook style. That was my plan. I haven't done it yet. I'm always a day late and a dollar short. But I thought these would make cute Easter gifts. And I was just at Walmart and I seen those bags and I, I walked past them and then I thought, oh Vanessa, you could do something with those bags. So I bought four of them. <laughs> Come home and immediately done it. <laughs> okay, the six by nine, we do nothing to it. Tape side down, you're going to line it up. Okay, you're going to line it up on all three sides. And then attach your tape. 
and this creates a pocket that we're going to attach to our album. So see, just like that. Oh, voila! <laughs> I think I put my paper on. No, because we're going to do a pocket. That's right, because we're going to do a pocket on both sides. Okay, because see, back here I attached paper, but I didn't, I didn't like that at all. I like that. That is stinking cute. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and attach this. Now, uh, maybe we should attach these first. I guess I cut, I cut mine down a little bit. Which, if you wanted to, I mean, you could fold it in half again. I think I'm just going to attach... Well, I'm going to go even. I don't want half of it. Well, I guess they all do that. So I guess that wouldn't be, um, that one's, so what I'm going to do, we're going to be covering most of it up anyway, ladies. I just having the two shows what I'm doing. That half of one, I'm cut, I'm cutting it off. And then we'll tape these down. Okay. And it, you don't have to worry about being straight because we're going to cover them up with a pocket anyway. What we might do, well, make sure that um, your score pile tape or glue goes clear to the end so that way you don't get caught when you're putting your um, stuff into your pocket, okay? I'm just going to put a little piece of tape there to catch that corner. I'm doing this to all, all of them. I'll, I'm going to put my tape straight. <coughs> and I'll put just a little piece to catch that. I'm going to cut this one straight now that I put my tape on. Because I want my tape to go clear to the end. So that way it doesn't catch on when you're putting your um, photo mats in and out. <coughs> Uh-oh, you messed up, Bunny. Uh-oh, what happened? How'd you mess up, Bunny? There's never a mess up. We can always fix our mistakes. I didn't have to use that much. Well, I should uh, just use glue. And I'm going to attach these down. I 
I think the first one I'd done, I, I think I made it in about 40 minutes. It didn't take me long. I had her whipped out and was doing a video for you guys because I couldn't wait to show you guys. I think it'd be a fun little project to do with the grandkids or do with your kids and then take it to grandpa and grandma's with pictures in it. And I think that'd be so sweet. Oh, shuttle butts. I got a kink. Oh, man. I don't know if I can pick that back up. Ah. Too late. It started ripping on me. Oh, well. Okay, that's the back. We got these all taped down now. Yes, my com yes, my comments. I still I looked on my iPad and it says everything's up to date. I don't understand it. Darn thing. So I just have to reach over there and Flip it up, and then I can see you guys' comments. <laughs> yeah, turn this off just a little bit. Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm just checking everything, make sure it's okay. All right, I'm gonna take my tape off, stick her down. Yeah, I'm going to get it figured out because I don't like it. I don't like having to reach over there all the time and flip them up to see the comments. Plus, I feel like I'm scrapbooking by myself. <laughs> I might have got that a little close to the Yep, I think we're good. So there's our page. You girls liking it so far? I like it. <laughs> okay, so. I want to do... Then we're going to have... Um, I think we can almost put two two of these in here. Yep, we can do that. I think we can get by with putting two in here. I think, I think we can. Okay, let's do our pocket. And I want mine in pink. Grab my pink, and it needs to be six and three quarters. So pocket, and we're going to need two of them at six and three quarters by five. Remember, double check that. Yep. So two of them. Okay, so I'm going to cut it this way so I get two pieces out of this. So there's five and five. And what did I say? Six and three quarters. So five by six and three quarters. Okay. Yeah, we're going to put these in our scoreboard and score them like we do our pockets. And then we'll do our egg shaped. So on the six and three quarter inch side, we're scoring at half an inch on each end. 
half an inch on each end and then on the five inch side we are scoring half an inch I'm just scoring my half an inch on this end instead of that end that's the only thing I'm doing sometimes I do that so on the six and three quarter inch side we are scoring half an inch on each end and then on the five inch side we're scoring at half an inch okay Now I'm just going to check these real quick and make sure we're okay because we don't want to go past this. We don't want to go past our loop. And we're good. We are good. So now I'm just going to add my tape to the indented side. Okay. Tape to the indented side. On all three sides. Do that to both pieces. Okay, both pieces. I hope you guys make these. I think they're cute. <clears throat> cute, cute, cute. Okay, now I'm going to miter right through that X. We're, when we scored at form day X, you're, you're going to miter right through that. Okay. We're just reducing bulk in our album. Okay. Oh, welcome, Kelly. Oh, you like it, Mary? That's awesome. Thanks. I know. It's cute, ain't it, Donna? <laughs> Yes, welcome, Kelly. Glad you could join us. Yeah, it's just one of those impromptos. I got off work a little bit early. The house was real nice and quiet. I thought, yep, we're going we're gonna to do this. this Easter is going to be here. And I know some of you may have your grandkids this weekend. You may want to do it with your grandkids. And then we're just folding towards the bumpy side. Folding towards the bumpy side. Okay. This album would be really easy for um, somebody who's just beginning to learn how to make albums. Alright, now I'm going to do my little egg shape thing. And I'll show you how i done that. Okay, grab my ruler, and it does, I just make a line to how far down I want, bring it back up, Now I really don't want to make it too triangle, I want to make it look like a cracked egg. So this one, I think I'm going to go down. A little, just a little bit further. Maybe angle it a little bit. No set pattern, I just, just drew it. So I'm just going to put my ruler here, and then let, let me see if I can give you some, maybe some measurements, maybe. I'm going to come in at least three quarters of an inch, and I'm going to go down inch and three quarters, and I'm going to come back up. Now I got that one almost too triangle. Tri I'm going to come a little bit wider on this one. There we go. There we go. Let's see, then I'll make this one come down like this. Just make you some lines and cut.
I didn't even stay in my line. I decided I wanted that a little bit different. I don't like that being squared, so I want a point. And if you have pencil marks, just erase them. I didn't even stay on my pencil lines I made. <laughs> okay, there's what my... Oops, I better get my deal back on my pen. There's what mine look like. That one looks funky. Oh, well. It's just a crooked egg. <laughs> it's just a crooked egg. Oh, welcome, Barbara. Yeah, it, was, it, it wasn't no planned thing. It was just one of my impromptos. Oh, welcome, Cindy. Yeah, it was just one of my impromptu things. Let's see. Now, I put paper back behind this. So, what color do I want to use? Or do I want to use my green? I think I want to use my green. Yeah. I'll use my green. I should have found me some yellow. Just a second. Let me see if I can find me some yellow. I didn't even think about grabbing some yellow. Uh, I need a nice, bright yellow. I think I might have found some. Maybe. Oh, he even has an orange. <clears throat> oh, is there orange in here? Oh, there is orange. Ooh, some orange. Let's see how the yellow looks. Ah, awesome. Is that green the same color green? Yep. Is it the same color of blue? What name? South Beach is the name of this one. This is Michael's paper. Oh no, look. It's bluer. Yay. Look. Yay. That's awesome. I think that'll match that blue so much better. Oh, yeah. <gasps> this is going to be funky. I might even use some... Oh, orange. Nah, let's do yellow. Much as you guys know, I dislike yellow. <laughs> yes, it'd work for any gift bag. Uh-huh. It sure would. Okay, so my pocket is five and three quarters, correct? It should be. Uh-huh. So I want my paper to be... I'm just going to go a hair, just a hair under five and three quarters. Well, let's try five and three quarters first, see what happens. Oh, I ain't going to get it twice out of here, am I? Crap. Ah, too short. Well, we'll use that for something. 
I'll use it for something. I gotta get me another sheet of yellow. So I used two purple. I need to keep a track. I used two purple. And we're using so far two yellows. And we used, so far, one pink. So I can tell you how many pieces of cardstock you guys will need. So, five and three quarters. We'll use these somewhere else in the album. I don't want them to go to waste. Cut it down. Should know. Should have known. I'm gonna cut mine down to uh, one, two, three, four, five eighths. So five and five eighths. Will that work? Oh yeah. Ah, stinking cute. So five and five eighths. <laughs> I still hate yellow, Barbara. <laughs> I still hate yellow. <laughs> but this has so much yellow on it, I can't deny it. It needs it. That'd be a shame if I wouldn't put no yellow in it just because I didn't like it. <laughs> just make sure that your pocket doesn't go over your ribbon, okay? So I'm going to line this up, and it's not going to bother me. I've got white because um, you don't want this pocket to be right up against this um, seam right here, okay? So I leave a little bit of white. Probably a good eighth of an inch is what I'm leaving. Okay. Now I'm going to stick this paper right down in that pocket. And I'm going to go ahead and use the whole thing because where we trim this off here this way it I won't have my uh, things inside will not be catching okay because I don't want them to catch I don't want my tags and stuff to be catching. Kitchen. There we go. And I'm going to put it up to the top. Hopefully I don't get crooked. But your bags, you'll find out your bags ain't always straight either. <laughs> I noticed this one ain't quite as straight. Okay, let's do it to the back side. And again, I'm going to put this one like an eighth of an inch. Make sure you're not going over your ribbon. Okay. Make sure she fits before I t 
Oh yeah, she fits. And if you know of anybody that you think might like, you know, share, share, share it with your friends, guys. Share, share, share. And I don't, you know, I don't know if there's anybody else out there done anything like this or not. <laughs> I just know I came home from Walmart and sat down with it and started making it. I was like, ah, I can do something with these. Yeah, it's a little bit off, but that's all right. Ain't that cute? Cute, cute, cute. And maybe with these little... I should have stopped and got me some Easter stickers today, and I forgot. Darn it. See? Maybe with... Uh, some of your strip of papers that you have left over. You can decorate your little Easter eggs right here. Okay. So don't throw your scraps away. You can decorate your eggs. I know. Ain't it adorable? <laughs> yes, Marjo. You go get some good sleep. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks. And I hope you make this, hun. Because it, <coughs> it really is... <gasps> Cute. All right. Now. I forgot. I was going to stick. But that's all right. That's okay. We'll just do it this way. Okay. Now you're going to take an eight and a half by 11. And we're not even going to trim it down. You're going to get your scoreboard out. And on the 11 inch side, you're going to score it half an inch. Half an inch. And then we are going to score. Oh, I better be writing this down. So you're going to need two of these. And it's 8 by 11. And we're going to score at half an inch. And I believe it's six. Yep. So you're scoring at half an inch. Then you're going to score at six. Okay. Do this to two pieces. Because you're, you're going to need... Oh, darn it. You're going to need two of these. Okay. You're going to need two of them. You're going to score half an inch and six inch. So, yep. Shit. Share this with any of your friends that you think might want to make one of these. Okay, now I'm going to apply my score pal tape to the indented side. Okay. Do that to both pieces. Just to that, that um, half inch. Okay. Just at that half inch. Okay. Then I am going to round my corners. And I'm going to fold toward the bum beside. There at the half inch. Okay, folding in a half inch there at the bumpy side. Now, this is where you, I break my rule is you're going to fold towards the indented side. Okay? You're going to fold towards the indented side on this piece. Okay? Fold towards the indented. And I'm lining mine, mine up, and if you have to make a new score line, so be it. But you want that to be straight. Or, you know, you want it no hangover. You don't want it to be crooked. Okay? Do that to both pieces. You're going to fold towards the bumpy side. Okay. Folding towards the bumpy side. 
But this time, we're folding against the indented side. And that's very rare. Normally, we don't do that. But when I do a full piece like this, you can't help it. Unless you go the other way with it. So, see? Now, I need to decide... I had in my book this one like this. Which I think that would be fine. Let's, let me see which way I like best. Put my little tag in there. Because I like it where it folds out like that. This one here, I don't... I think that would be, I, th I think I like it. Like You could do it either or, guys, okay? It really doesn't matter. I attached this one on this side. Then on the back side, I attached it to this side. So really, it doesn't matter. It just, however you want to, to flip it, okay? It doesn't matter. Let's see. How do I want mine to go? I just don't want this folded, either of these folded edges down here along this um, seam down here, okay? That's why I have mine centered like that, so we're not bulking up this seam down here. You know, if we put it like this, just a sec, I'm a thinking, I'm a thinking here, because we have this piece left over. Oh, we got the blue yet to go. <clears throat> okay. I have an idea. So, let me see if this works, ladies. <clears throat> if we, this is eight and a half. If we go seven, okay, half of this is, this paper is 11. If we go half of it, that's five and a half. Let's see. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to cut this in half. Then if we score, because I want it to be shorter. I think that'll work. Let's cut this down. I'm going to cut mine down to seven and a half, because I want, I want it to be shorter. I want the green to shine through. So you're going to need two of these. In just a sec, I'll, I'll give you the measurements. Oh, those blue pieces would be excellent to put on our eggs on the front. Okay, so these two pieces here, so I, I used one piece of blue. Okay, these pieces here are five and a half. Five and a half by seven and a half. And we're going to score on the five and a half inch side at half an inch. Okay. So I'm going to get my scoreboard out. Oh, welcome, Tama Lee. Welcome, Annette. Glad you guys could join us. You started without me. <laughs> it was one of those impromptu things. I got off work early. And I really didn't want to do email and stuff like that. I thought, hmm, 
I'm going to do this. <laughs> okay, so on the five and a half inch side, we're going to score at half an inch. Plus, time's running out. Easter's next weekend. And I want to get I want to get this done so you um, guys can make it with your kids or grandkids. So on the five and a half inch side, we're scoring at half an inch. Okay, you need two of these. They're five and a half by seven and a half. Okay. So we're going to apply our tape to the indented side. Apply your tape to the indented side, please. I know, I didn't want to do any computer work. <laughs> I thought, I want to play with you guys today. <laughs> You're just too slow today, Tomily. <laughs> Fold it towards the bumpy side. And if you want to round these corners, you can. I haven't decided if I'm going to round mine or keep mine straight. Because here's, here's what it's going to do. Either or. I think. What would it do if we done this? Just a second. Let me see how this works. So then you'd have to have... Okay. So if you opened up that, then you'd open up this. And then you go this way with this. And that would work. <clears throat> that would work. The second I'm checking, ladies. No, nope. I like it this way. Okay, so this piece, I'm just going to line it up from top to bottom. Don't go over on this side. This is our pocket. So I'm going to apply this one here. Okay, I'm going to open that up, and then I'm, I'm attaching tape side down on this side right here. And I'm just going to leave it to where there's a little bit of purple sh seeping through here. Okay, I'm going to line it up from top to bottom. And that's about eighth, a good eighth of an inch, maybe just a little bit more. I want the purple to come through. Okay. And then I'm going to give this a good burnish. And we'll do it to the other side. Okay. You can either put it like that or you can put it like that. I think I want to round my corners. I'll make it, I think it'll make it a little bit softer. Oh, yeah. It's all around these corners, too. All right. So let's flip it over to the front side. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to line this up from top to bottom without going over. Open that up, and then my green tape side on this side right here, okay? I want a little bit of the purple, about eighth of an inch, showing through here, okay? And take my tape off. So I'm attaching it tape side down over here, okay, on um, both pieces. Both pieces are being attached um, over here. <gasps> uh, 
Oh, that is, and then our little blue pieces. Oh, I bent that one. Crap, and I bent that one too. Crap, it was. Oh, we have that. I got me an orange. Okay, so now that part is all done. Let's do our little um, two tabs that we want inside of here. Or we could just make a little booklet to go inside there. Because in this one, I have a little pullout. So, let's do that. We're just going to cut this photo mat measures five and a quarter by eight and a half. Photo mat is five and a quarter by eight and a half. Okay. So, Use one orange piece. Keeping track of the so you know how many pieces of cardstock you'll need. So far, two, four, five, six, seven, if I've done it right. I'm going to say five and a quarter. So we'll get two of these out of here. So there's one and two. And I'm going to round all my corners. Now I'm going to use what color do I want to use? I want to use a color that I don't have to get into a new sheet. I know. I'm using this yellow. Oh, where's my punch? There it is. I'm going to make me some tags. Um, this is a Stampin' Up. You can use, to make this, you can use any um, die cut that is the same on both ends. So this is the same and this side is the same. You can cut them in half and use them for tabs. That's what I do. So I need two of these. That's, ooh, dang it. That's what I use for tabs. That's how I do it. I've been doing that for a long time. You're going to, you know, cover that cover that up with you know a photograph or design paper you can either you know use design paper or you know you can just leave it like this if you want to you know and put a sticker there so now how I do these let's see do I want the tab here and here, I probably should use some di different color besides yellow. I think I do. So I'm going to tape one of these up. try and use my mat so I can get it on straight but oh well surely I can do this so I'm just gonna put this photo mat where I think it's gonna usually be and try and put this right here 
And you got to be careful. You don't want it sticking up. Oh, I don't want it that close. that be okay? So I'm going to stick it in my pocket and make sure that's okay before I... I can come out just a little bit more. There we go. And then I'm just going to ink this side up and then put them together. I just line them up to where they line up. Stick them on. Now you got a beautiful tab. Just like that. Let's do our other one. In fact, I'm just going to use this one as a template. Because the other one will go just on the other end. That's how I do my tabs. There we go. There's one. And if you guys don't want to put that piece there, you don't have to. Okay, just to totally up to you. That is stinking cute, guys. My purple is sticking out just a little bit, but that's all right. My bag ain't tr um, very straight. It's a little bit crooked. It is, Martha, ain't it? Glad you could join us, Martha and Connie. Yeah, I'll make it cute. Oh, you bought that punch? That's awesome. I, I use that one all the time. It mines a Stampin' Up! one. But I, lo I love it. That's what I use all the time. <laughs> Ain't it too cute, Tommy? Lee? Look at that. Then they can put their pictures in here, carry it in to Grandpa and Grandma, and, you know, give it to them. Oh, I just think that is... It's so stinking cute. I probably shouldn't have added this one. So it's going to get chunky. <laughs> <laughs> you I always I just keep adding, keep adding. So if you don't want to add this blue one because it does it does chunk it up. It really does. It chunks it up. Okay, so got one more thing. Do I want to use pink? No, I want to use orange. I know, I'm going to do it the cheating way. This is creative memories, too. I'm supposed to use a little cutting system, but I thought, shoot. Just draw it on here and cut it out. Doesn't have to be perfect. These are going to be our tags. To go inside our pocket and with your scraps left over remember that little scrap thing that I taught you girls how to do where you use your scrap pieces you could decorate these like those if you wanted to just find something in your house I mean if you're not very good at doing ovals just find something in your house go in your kitchen 
and find something that's oval, okay? I've done that lots of times. Just go in the kitchen and find some, a shape you want and, and trace around it and voila. I've even used my dinner plates. <laughs> Is that drawing an oval or doing a circle by hand? Nope, I can't do it. I mean, you might even have a Tupperware container, maybe this, you know, it's shaped like this. Just go in your kitchen, find something, and then trace around it. Okay, let's see what these look like. Stinking cute. You can put two of them in each. You can put two in a pocket, guys. <laughs> I have to erase my pencil marks. You can see my pencil marks. Maybe put an orange one. Let's see, what other color? I think we want to use purple. Let's use purple. Do I have a purple piece of paper left? Oh, heck no. Do I? Let me see. Oh, shuttle butts. Anyway, I don't have a purple piece, but... Should we do pink? Oh, that blue don't match. I guess we're doing pink. That's the only piece I got left. I'm just going to trace around it. I'll have to see if I can't get the other bag done. Because the other bag that I bought, I want to do it in a match matchbox style. I don't want to to be like this album i want it to be because see it sits like that and i just get these bags at walmart guys it could, and it doesn't have to be an easter bag it could be any kind of bag you know if you get a um bag that doesn't have quite as big as bottom you, you're just not going to cut off as much just make sure you have half an inch for your hinge okay but yeah, you should be able to do this in any kind of bag. And you know, I just thought of this I, when I was just talking to you guys. You know what you could do? If you need more room, if you need, let's say you have more pictures and what goes in here. What you could do, oh my gosh, you could do that. You could cut off this one ribbon and then cut off one side of this other ribbon, okay? You could put two of these together. Just cut off wherever, you, wherever you're going to attach them. Let's say these two right here. You would cut this these two ribbons off put your score pile tape on all three sides leave this side open that way you could have a pocket okay so you would put score pile tape score pile tape score pile tape and i would double up your score pile tape on this edge right here okay and then stick them together and you'd have a pocket in between the two but you would have two books let me put let me put this ribbon inside here so you so you don't see it. So then you'd have two of these put together with just you know one set of ribbon like that, but it'd be two books put together. But I would double up your score pile tape right here, okay? I do too, Evelyn. I, I had him, and when I was, you know, talking to you guys, it dawned on me you could do that. Weird how ideas come across. Yeah, I gotta get the other one done, Bunny. Yep. I th I think this is really cute. Yeah, I'll try and get it done, Bunny. 
Um, I, I probably won't get it done in the next few days. It may be over the weekend. I don't, I don't know. I need to get it done. But yeah, you could stick two of these together if you needed more room for pictures. And like I said, you know, if you don't want to put this, this blue one does bulk it up, guys. So if you don't want to put this blue one, you know, you don't have to. Or you can leave the green one out and just do the blue one. Stinking cute, guys. And then you got two tags here. Very cute, very cute. And then you got your handle so she, she can carry it in to Grandpa and Grandma. I'll try and work on this one. Do you guys have any questions? Plus the other one has my name on it. There you, oh it does, doesn't it, Bunny? It does. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Yep, go to Walmart and get them. And my my Walmart, I can't get this one anymore at all. They had a couple of these left, but uh, that stuff is going quick. So, I would, if you're going to be getting them, I would be getting them. Okay, that's all I have for you ladies today. Um, remember, I will be on tonight at 7 o'clock. We'll be working some more on our file folder album. Like I said, if you know anybody who would love to be making these, um, please share this video with them so um, maybe they can make it with their daughter. And I will try and I'll just post the measurements is what, what I'll do. I'll just um, post it um, on scrapping it up so you guys can just have the measurements. Okay. Yoki dokie. All right. Yep, we'll see you tonight, Bunny. Yes, hopefully we can get quite a bit done tonight. Yeah, it's pretty easy to pretty easy to cut, Connie. If, if you guys happen to have any questions about how to do it, um, just put them in the comments below. Uh, I'll get back with you. Okay? Okay. You guys have a good rest of your afternoon, and we'll see you in a few hours. As always, girls, keep scrapping. Bye-bye.